Today's honest movie trailer will be about the Trojan War in a setting that no one knows about, like Atlantis or Timbuktu or Chad, there occurred a, tro a Trojan War. Or maybe not, according to certain scholars, but maybe yes, according to the director. And like all unknown places, Hollywood loves to make movies about it. One day, Iris, a Miss Discord, herself was not invited to a wedding, so a battle ensued between the three goddesses. Grey Eye, Smart Virgin, Seafoam, Anti-Virgin, and the Queen of Marriage, who has a broken marriage? No one could decide who had the bre I mean, best looks. In a meadow, in a meadow, in the middle of nowhere, far away from anywhere, especially <laughs> Troy, was Paris. Destined to destroy Troy? How could an outcast sheep farmer destroy Troy? <laughs> Who knows but the story. So, the gray eye smart virgin, seafoam anti-virgin, and the queen of marriage, who has a broken marriage, went to find Paris. A handsome godlike, in faults and in strengths, <laughs> probably bored from his treatment and sheep, had to choose who was the best, I mean, breast goddess. Each offering their own version of death. <laughs> Oops, I mean gifts. Paris chose Helen. They're lucky they aren't in Canada. Otherwise, Helen would, be, would have just blended in with the snow because she's so pale. A decision that made even the stone shiver. A story full of decades of amazing action scenes. I mean, what an achievement Paris made when he just strolled in, not walked, not a brisk, Face none, but he just strolled on in, got Ellen, and strolled on out. According to painters, all over, so intense, right? And all the battles won the grueling battle full of intense hatred between Paris and Menelaus. Be tuned for Aphrodite to offer outside assistance and sweep Paris away to his bedroom. Maybe for the most intense scene of all. <laughs> Well, maybe he gains some man points for not crying and sobbing into his pillow, but instead do what men do best. <laughs> do. And be super prepared for when Hector and Achilles really take it out on each other. Oh yeah, Hector, haughty number two, fated to death. Hector, the handsome, already stolen man who is faithful to his wife and son, adored by both goddesses and people, leads the Trojans to battle and wake of Paris, Persevering, so, persevering and so determined that even Paris says, your heart is tireless like a wood chopping axe wielded by a craftsman cutting timber for a ship. A man who would rather die in battle than to live in shame, hated by others. A according to Hector, I have always learned to be brave. Shall we reiterate the fact that Hector is loyal, faithful, brave, Honest and proud, <laughs> but Hector is no one important, not anyone, because Paris has Helen, right? What a double-sided relationship that is, whew. At least Paris didn't die like Hector did, right? In battle where his warlike spirit brought his death? Oh, hey, this is an action-packed scene, too. Achilles, the most fearsome mountain falcon, really likes to take breaks. Action-packed, of course. Just off to the side, sometimes for months, you know, what they say, right? Stand your ground, even if it is in the middle of a war. But really, the waiting adds intensity. And when they fight, they just run and run and run and run and run and run. And Apollo, who is usually Apollo up in your business, decided to abandon Hector. Poor thing. It is also such a great thing that Paris never returned Helen. Even though the whole, whole Greece just vowed to fight when Menela fight with Menelaus for her and destroy her captor, ha. otherwise we wouldn't have this action-packed movie, right? Good that Paris didn't make that mistake. He's obviously after he kidnaps a girl, he should return to the home, the home he's supposed to destroy. Little did he know, all of Helen's rejected suitors were going to fight for her. Because obviously one girl can be shared with so many guys, right? They can all share and just pass her around the dinner table. Now, back to Paris. What a great character, started the war, would have returned Helen. What has Paris not made a mistake about? Paris was a mistake. His birth certificate should have been an apology letter. 
Not only did he start a war, war steal a girl, rape a girl, destroy Troy, and ruin his family's reputation, but hey, he's hot. So hot that he burned down all of Troy. <laughs> Oops, too soon. Why do the pretty die young? Maybe because they're stupid. I mean, of Prim's 56 sons, he was the most screwed up, and now all 56 have to cringe and say, yeah, I'm related to that idiot. But hey, don't blame Paris for Aphrodite's golden gifts. He couldn't have rejected them. By the way, what happened to his nymph? Stay tuned for Troy Ware. This is the movie that brought journalists to Greece to see the ancient ruins, and now they're writing several columns about them. A million people died, all because one goddess didn't get invited to a wedding. And who are they fighting for? One girl. Not for freedom, not for equality, nor world peace. But hey, the best breast, right? Oh, wait, that's Aphrodite. If Aphrodite is so hot, then why are they all fighting over Helen, not Aphrodite? Aphrodite? Wanna tell us? Vanity, beauty, betrayal, and competition. Is this where the Paris fashion show steams from? I bet if a lot of girls saw Paris' hair, they would say, I fell in love in Paris. So if you're up for death and death and even more death, that's all good. Stay tuned for next week's Honest Movie Trailer.